there's no fish here at all. I've been fishing for three hours, and there's nothing. Eh, oh, 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 I'm out of luck. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hopefully I'll catch a fish soon and go home. Hey, hey, Mikey, I'm right here. What's taking you so long to catch a fish? It's getting hot outside. It's an extremely hot day. I don't remember it being as hot as it is today. I think there's an emergency broadcast on the radio, too. I hope it's not too terrible news and it's something normal. I hope so, too. But I think it's something about today's abnormal heat wave. I hope it doesn't mean we have to put on ice. I don't want to vaporize in this sun. Okay, let's go home, I guess. There's nothing for us to do here. I think all the fish are already boiling in this lake. I think the water's really hot in here. Okay, let's go. I'm bored. Hmm, JJ, what are we doing today? I'd like to cool off a little bit. Uh, it's really hot in here. Okay, let's go, Mikey. I don't know what we're gonna do. I got some ideas. We could eat a pound of ice cream, or we could go to the cool pool. The water sure is nice there, or it's already hot. I don't know, but I'm sure we'll find a way to cool off and not get boiled alive in this heat. Uh-oh. You know what, JJ? We should check the radio first. They're probably playing that emergency message by now. It should be on by now or any minute now. So let's turn on the radio. I hope it's okay. Okay, well, uh... Attention, attention, attention to all villagers of the village. This is an urgent message about abnormal weather in our village. It is expected to reach 131 degrees Fahrenheit today. This is extremely dangerous weather in which anything can catch fire. Stay indoors and stay indoors. Try to have ice and fire extinguishers ready in case of fires. This is extremely dangerous weather. We warn you again, do not leave the house. Temperatures could also rise to 167 degrees. Did you hear that? JJ, this is incredibly dangerous. We need to figure out a way to cool down and protect our home. Uh-oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. Let's go to the pool first. We'll cool ourselves off and then figure out how to protect our house. Now, what do we do first? Let's go to the pool. Hey, Mikey, what do you think we should have for breakfast? I don't know what we can eat. We have plenty of apples and bread in the fridge. We also have steaks, cakes, cookies, and more. We have a lot of food. Hey, Mikey, it's scorching hot today. I can't wait to get to the pool and cool off. Absolutely, JJ. This heat is unbearable. I hope the pool is nice and refreshing. Oh, it's going to be amazing, Mikey. You know what would make it even better? If we threw some ice cubes in there. That's a brilliant idea, JJ. The thought of those ice cubes slowly melting as we swim sounds so refreshing. Imagine the sensation when that cold water wraps around our bodies. It will be like diving into a pool of pure bliss. And as the ice cubes melt, we'll feel little bursts of coldness against our skin. It's going to be sensational. I can already taste it, Mikey. The anticipation of that icy splash engulfing us is making my mouth water. I'm drooling just thinking about it. I can't wait either, JJ. Just picturing the joy on our faces as we dive into that cool oasis makes my heart race. Here we are, Mikey. The pool is right in front of us. Are you ready to turn our icy dreams into reality? JJ, the water just evaporated. How is that possible? This makes me think, JJ. What if this scorching heat becomes the norm? What if this is just the beginning of something even more unbearable? It's a scary thought, Mikey. If this heat continues to escalate, our lives will be drastically affected. We need to find a solution before it's too late. Absolutely, JJ. We need to consider the impact of this extreme heat on our environment and our health. It's a wake-up call we can't ignore. Let's brainstorm, Mikey. How can we protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our planet from this intense heat? We need to find answers and take action. Agreed, JJ. Let's dive deep into research, reach out to experts, and raise awareness. It's time to come up with a plan to combat this extreme heat and secure a better future. Hey, Mikey. Look at that farmer walking down the street. He seems to be in a lot of distress. What's wrong with him? I don't know, JJ, but look, he's starting to burst into flames. It's scorching hot for him. Oh no, he's screaming something terrifying. We need to help him. Quick, let's think of a way to protect ourselves from this intense heat. It could happen to us too. We can't just stand here clueless while people are burning alive. You're right, JJ. We need to brainstorm some ideas. Maybe we can wear heat-resistant suits or find a way to create a cool bubble around us. That sounds like a good plan, Mikey, but how can we obtain those heat-resistant suits? And creating a cool bubble might be quite challenging. We need something more accessible and immediate. I agree, JJ. Maybe we can find a nearby lake or river and jump in to cool off. Water is a great conductor of heat, so it should provide some relief. That's a good idea, Mikey. But imagine if all the lakes and rivers suddenly turn into boiling lava. It's not a reliable option. We need to come up with a backup plan, just in case. You're right again, JJ. How about using ice cubes or snow to create a temporary shield? 
We can cover ourselves with them and protect our skin from the extreme heat. Brilliant, Mikey. We can also use the ice and snow to cool down our surroundings. We'll put ice packs on our windows and doors to keep the heat from entering our homes. And if the flames reach our houses, we can create a barrier of ice to prevent them from spreading. It might buy us some time until help arrives. JJ, we can't waste another second. The fate of our lives and our homes rests in our hands. Let's gather every ice pack, every bag of ice, and every snowball we can find. Mikey, I can't believe this heat. It's like the sun is on steroids or something. I know, right? It feels like we're melting in here. Wait, are you suggesting we hide in the bathroom until this heat wave passes? It's worth a shot. We can surround ourselves with ice blocks to keep cool. Wow, it's slightly cooler already. Yeah, but look outside. It's like the world is on fire. Oh my goodness. The buildings are melting and the sky is orange. What do we do now? We can't stay trapped in here forever. I have an idea. We can put on these specially designed water suits that cool our bodies. That might work. And we should grab some weapons, just in case. Agreed. We need to be prepared for anything out there. Okay, let's do this. We'll have to jump from rock to rock on the lava to get anywhere. It's like a giant game of lava floor. But remember, stay calm and don't panic. Got it. Let's go, JJ. Well, I've got the suits right here. Let's put them on and give it a go. All right, then. Let's do this. I hope these suits work as promised. We need some relief from this inferno. Don't worry, Mikey. I have a good feeling about this. Once we're suited up, nothing will be able to bring us down. I really hope you're right, JJ. This heat is sucking the life out of me. I need a break. I understand, Mikey. We all need a break from this outrageous heat. But let's remember, there's a reason behind it. What do you mean, JJ? Are you saying this heat is intentional? Well, not exactly intentional, but there's a monster behind all of this. A water lava golem. We need to defeat it to restore balance to our world. Seriously? A monster causing all this heat? That's insane. How are we supposed to defeat it? With our water suits and miniguns, of course. They'll protect us from the extreme heat and give us the power to take down the golem. That's some serious superhero stuff right there. I never thought I'd be fighting monsters to save the world from heat waves. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? But we can do this, Mikey. Together, we'll fry that golem and bring back normal temperatures. I'm with you, JJ. Let's go out there and show that monster who's boss. Fire at will, Mikey. We've got the power of water on our side. Let's show that golem who's in charge of cooling things down. Take that, you fiery fiend. Nobody messes with our world and gets away with it. We're doing it, Mikey. We're actually taking down the golem. This is incredible. We did it. The golem is defeated. Look, Mikey, the temperature is already dropping. We saved the day. Oh, my goodness, JJ. We actually did it. The heat is gone. We saved the world from the scorching nightmare. We make a great team, Mikey. Okay, viewers, that was JJ and Mikey, and we thank you for watching. Check out our other videos, and don't forget to like this video. Bye-bye-bye.